Howdy ho guys, 15 second out here, and today we're going to be disproving flat earthers using stars and stuff. Basically, the question came from Julian S. Shout out to Julian S. But basically he asked, hey, I'm a retarded flat earther, but bro, it's sad that they harass you, man. First of all, Julian, thank you. I appreciate that. You're not one of the retarded ones because you're a reasonable human being, all right? Remember that. You get a finger dab. Just want to ask, how it's possible to see the constellation Southern Cross every single night when in six months through our yearly orbit, he lives in Australia by the way, around the sun, we should be on the opposite side facing the complete opposite way, yet we see the same constellations? Well, that's a good, it's a really good question, Julian. You see, there's these stars called circumpolar stars and they're situated around the pole or the axis at which the Earth spins. So, you're still on the southern part, so you might be facing the other direction, but if you still look down, you still see the star, but you know what? Don't take my word for it. I'm going to make you a visual representation because humans suck at visualizing really big things. It's not your fault, Julian. We just have stupid little monkey brains, and they can only do so much, so I'm here to help you. All right, guys, I got some things to, to make a little visual representation, so I got a light bulb. I found a piece of string. And I, I got some glue and an underwear. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take the underwear, all right? You're gonna rip it like that, make a cord-like substance. That way we can we can hang the light bulb from it, all right? It's very important. You gotta rip it the right way, or it's not gonna hang. And remember, you 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 always want to be hung, all right? Being hung is cool. That means you got a big dick. Uh, Alright guys, so this this light bulb, this is going to be a representation of the Earth, alright? Notice how it's also at an angle. I totally did that on purpose because the Earth kind of spins at an angle. It doesn't spin straight up and down. It's at a tilt. At a tilt, it's like 23 degrees, something of that nature, 23 point something, something. But this is going to be the Earth, alright? Now we need to draw where Australia is. So, Australia is going to be somewhere, alright, if this is the equator, right? So, if this is the equator, then Australia is like right here or something, alright? So, we got Australia. So, this is going to represent Australia spinning through doing whatever, whatever shit, you know, the basic stuff. Now what we're going to do, we're going to glue, I got some wood glue here, this should work, should work with glass and rope, I can't, fuck, alright guys, I got some wood glue here, and we're going to dip, dip a little piece of rope, in the wood glue and what this what this represents is the line of sight from earth so here's australia right all right well we're gonna we're gonna all right now that it's dry we're going to hang it all right we're, oh. all right guys fuck the glue the glue don't work so we're going to do some emergency sciencing all right and we're just going to tape just going to tape it to Australia and you know that's okay it happens in science all the time you're not always gonna get it the first time but you keep on trying and you keep on using different methods and eventually you'll get it but anyways so now this rope right here this is your line of sight this is basically a representation if you look up into the sky this is what you're doing right so if you're in Australia and you're looking up at the sky this is your line of sight from the earth right all right you gonna play a big role in a couple seconds, all right? So now we're gonna hang our little earth, all right? We're gonna hang our earth. All right, guys, now we're ready for some real science, all right? So let me take you on over here to the science lab where all the magic happens. All right, so this right here, this is your line of sight, right? And it's this is the axis of the earth. 
this is the actual axis that it spins on, right? Spins like that. Well, then your line of sight can go like this, because this is just you looking up at the sky, right? And so right now, you see the Southern Cross, right? Right? All right, good. So let me... Alright Julian, I hope that visualization helped you out a little bit more in conceptualizing what a circumpolar star is. So you saw that no matter where the Earth spun, you could still see relatively down towards the Southern Cross, so your perspective didn't really change enough to be able to obscure the Southern Cross. But 15 sec not, how does that disprove flat Earth theory? Well, you see, because of circumpolar stars and the way they're situated in relation to the Earth, you can't see the Southern Cross from the Northern Hemisphere, and you can't see the North Star, or Polaris, from the Southern Hemisphere. And in Flat Earth Theory, you should be able to see any constellation from anywhere on the Earth. But that's not true, because depending on which hemisphere you're on, on the round Earth, you see different constellations. So that's the biggest debunk, I think, in my opinion, of Flat Earth. Well, that and gravity, but they don't believe in gravity, so you can't use gravity. Um, I'd use mathematics, but they also don't believe in mathematics. Jillian, once again, you're not retarded. You're a reasonable human being. I think that maybe if you have things explained to you a little differently, you'd see why the Earth is actually round and it's not flat. But um, I'm not giving up on you. I have hope for you. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And shout out to my now 114 followers. It's been a very productive month. And I do it all for you guys. If it weren't for you, I'd probably just spend my day like jerking off or playing Age of Empires, you know, nothing really constructive. But now I get to scream at pseudoscience and flat earth preachers. So I think that's a huge step up. But yeah, and we're just going to tape, just going to tape it to Australia.